So what's going on with BitTensor? Since my last video about a month ago, the price of BitTensor has skyrocketed. It was 240 then, now it's over 500 now. Why is this one of the best performing assets in the entire world? We're gonna dive into what's going on currently with this asset and why the market is so bullish on this asset. Well, to start, this is the vision of BitTensor. They think they can create AI models that are more powerful than what OpenAI is creating. And in my initial video, I talked about some of the models they're creating and how breakthrough they are and how they actually can compete with big tech. So what happens when the narrative becomes BitTensor could actually compete with OpenAI? This thing will be priceless, right? So that's narrative. That's the story. What about tokenomics? Are the tokenomics going to help accelerate this narrative coming true? Well, let's talk about tokenomics. First up, of the 7.5 million TAL that have been issued, 5.9 million have been staked, meaning locked up for use in this ecosystem. 78% of the entire supply. Remember, TAO isn't trading on Coinbase, which is kind of a plus because we don't have all these panic selling. The people holding TAO generally are building in the ecosystem. Yes, there's some retail holders, obviously, but most of it is investors and people building in this ecosystem. Remember, the more Tau you hold, the more AI you can actually access in this ecosystem. So the more valuable the AI, the more valuable Tau, right? So it's an incredible use case, big supply of 21 million tokens, and the vast majority of that is being locked away and staked and used in this ecosystem. So incredible flywheel tokenomics. The higher it goes, the more people want it, the more is staked, the scarcer it gets, the more people are willing to work and solve problems in this ecosystem and create real artificial intelligence. So in my initial video, I talked about the AI being built. Let's look at new developments and what's kind of driving the price action apart from the actual tokenomics and how there are very few net sellers on Coinbase, very few net panic sellers on these centralized exchanges, and there's just way more buying taking place by the builders, right? So obviously net buying pressure for this asset, but what about the actual development, the building? What makes this, val this asset valuable, right? We just reached a major breakthrough milestone in artificial intelligence. Until now, everyone has thought that decentralized training was a pipe dream and impossible for foundation models of size, 100 billion parameters and beyond. BitTensor is solved for decentralized and incentivized frontier model training. They actually have because there's real AI being built. For all my ICP investors that don't like it because building isn't taking place on chain, a lot of the AI isn't running on chain, a lot of the compute isn't necessarily running on chain, for the value of the token to increase, it doesn't matter. Because again, the value of the token is tied to the value of the AI in the ecosystem. The more tau you have, the more AI power you harness, and the more staking rewards you get, obviously. And so as long as they're building AI, powerful AI models, then tau is the beneficiary, the tau token, because it's the only real way of accessing that AI. So yes, it's not all on chain. Yes, it's massive that ICP is on chain, but doesn't really matter for the potential upside of this asset. Here's another update. Fastest decentralized training in the world happening now on BitTensor. Look at that gorgeous loss, favorable loss metrics for this asset. We could very much handle training a 100 billion plus parameter model with this method, right? So they're proving that they can compete with big tech. It really doesn't get bigger than this. Part of the reason why this asset is doing so well, right? Now, here's another update. This is the head of the Open Tensor Foundation, which is essentially the creator of Tau. 12 hours ago, Imad Mostak asked me for crypto incentives, which exchanged Tau for NVIDIA H100s, right? 4 p.m. today, done. So what they demoed was renting NVIDIA GPUs from BitTensor miners within one minute, right? So who is Imad Mostak who reached out to the head of BitTensor to understand more of the power of BitTensor and how they can harness decentralized GPUs. The more GPUs you have, the better your AI. The more computers you have, the more powerful, the smarter your AI, right? So it's really important. That's why we have big tech investing hundreds of billions of dollars in mega computers all around the world, right? Well, who's Imad Mostak? He's the founder of Stability AI, <laughs> James Cameron, Creator of Terminator and Titanic, Academy Award-winning filmmaker, joined Stability AI Board of Directors. This is a powerhouse AI company, major AI company. Iman Mustak founded it. Iman Mustak is also advisor to the Render Network. So what we're seeing is that BitTensor has the capability of harnessing decentralized and centralized compute 
from all over the world. And the compute providers are incentivized with Tau tokens, which just continue to go up, which means they're more and more and more incentivized as the price climbs to earn Tau, right? So we have decentralized GPU providers all over the world scrambling to stack Tau. Here's an example of one. If you don't know what's going on with GamerHash, the GHX token, very interesting, tiny market cap AI asset. GamerHash AI powered by 780,000 gamers globally. So these gamers have powerful GPUs. They're lending out some of that power to the GamerHash network to be rewarded, right? Well, now GamerHash AI supports BitTensor's network. So now the BitTensor network is harnessing the GPUs from this decentralized network. This is not the only decentralized computing network that BitTensor is harnessing. But just the fact that they're able to create real powerful AI models means they have plenty of computing power. This is just one example of a massive GPU network powering these decentralized AI models, right? Does not get bigger than this massive, especially because big tech hasn't even discovered these decentralized computing networks, but BitTensor has. These decentralized computing networks are much cheaper than having a big centralized data warehouse. It's decentralized, costs are way down, BitTensor is taking advantage of it. And so the bottom line is you can get lost just studying the different AI metrics, but the fact is they're bullish. The AI that is being created on BitTensor, like it actually has legs and it actually could compete with big tech. So that right there is massive. Obviously it has its work cut out for it, but the founder of Oracle just came out and said that the cost to create an AI model is a hundred billion dollars. So as the price of Tau goes up, as the market cap goes up, the more valuable Tau is going to be, the more market cap they're going to have available to incentivize people to create AI. So this is an incredibly efficient machine. They're harnessing decentralized computers. They're creating real AI models. That is the update for BitTensor. Incredibly exciting, incredible tokenomics, incredible adoption. We'll keep you posted on more developments for this asset.